What's up, y'all? <laughs> it's Fetty G with SSK Killer, baby. Hey, listen, I wanted to make a video and share something with y'all, man. I had to come and share this information with y'all. Somebody asked me a question and I said, I got you. Now, listen, y'all, before we get into that, anybody watching this video, listen, like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. I'm about to, I'm going to keep giving y'all the game. Um, Listen, I rap. If you want to, go in the description and below. And all I'm asking, just click that song. The fan link. Click it, listen to the song, and tell me what you think. But my album come out January 1st. My album, y'all. It's called The Floor. I'll put a picture of the artwork right here, baby. And I'll go into details on another video what the whole uh, theme and concept of that project mean. But for right now, I want to talk to y'all about are you ready to be a breeder? Or are you really, really ready to be a breeder? And this is some good stuff. For, hey, listen, I'm not from H-Town, baby. My, my man, Duke Johnson, that's my, that's my right-hand man. We played ball together, grew up together. This when he was playing for Houston, man. I went out there and went to one of the games, and, I, and he gave me this. So I'm from Miami, baby. I'm a Dolphin, and that's where he at now. I'm a fan, baby. But listen, y'all. A lot of people just jump into this game thinking that, oh, I'm about to get in and make some quick money. You not. I'm telling you, don't, don't think like that. You not going to do that. A lot of people be inboxing me or anybody on here. I do consultation calls. They're $100 for an hour and a half. We talk. We go from top to bottom. What it is that you're trying to put together, what it is that you're trying to do, what you're trying to create. I help you orchestrate your program and just kind of give you some direction to help you get from A to B. A lot of y'all trying to go from A to Z. That's not how it work. You got to go A, B. Appreciate each step. Don't try to go from A to Z. Because guess what? Let's say you're trying to build a bridge, right? And let's say this is A. This, this pillar is A, and then this pillar is Z. If you go from A to Z, there's no foundation in the middle. So if you have to backtrack and go pick up information, guess what? You fall. You're done. You ain't going to be able to balance and catch yourself. But if you go from A to B to C to D, boom, 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 all the way to Z, now you just built your bridge that you need to walk on back and forth no matter what go on. I'm not even at Z yet. And I've been doing this for a while now. How you going to go from A to Z? Take your time. Appreciate the process. Let me give y'all a little backdrop, right? When I was in high school, I played for Miami Nola. I live in Georgia now. Let me, let me just say that to everybody. I live in Georgia, but I'm from Miami. Uh, my senior year of high school, we went 15-0, went to state. Years later, that was 2012. Years later now, me and all my friends, when we get together and we talk, we don't never talk about winning state. We talk about all the stuff that happened in practice, all the stuff that happened when we used to kick it with each other, or whatever the case is, in school, you know, chilling with the coaches and all these different things that happen. That's what we talk about the most. So that B through Y is what we really talk about. A and Z, it matters, but it's really not the topic of the conversation. You get what I'm saying? B through Y is, is what really matters and what's really hold the best and the most substance. I get on here and tell y'all how I lost a whole litter of puppies. A month later, I lost, out of 12, I lost 11 puppies. Only one survived. I tell y'all about how I had dogs that got real sick and almost died. I tell y'all about how dogs got sick and died. Certain things you just can't stop from happening. You don't know it all. So appreciate the process. Appreciate going through these learning experiences. Get on YouTube. Watch as much video as videos as you can. Build relationships. Jump in people's back pockets so that way you can build these relationships with people. And if you need it, you could call somebody and say, hey, man, I'm in a pickle. What's going on? I got mentors that y'all look at me like I know a lot. I do, but I don't know it all. I got mentors that I call all the time. Hey, man, such and such going on. I, I'm finna give one of my mentors a big shout out right now. Shout out to my man, Adrian, with Knife Wall Kittles. I'm finna post his Instagram right here on my page. He breed cane corsos. This my man. If it was, I'm going to be real with y'all right now. If it wasn't for this gentleman right here, I promise you, SSK won't be where it's at right now. SSK will still be doing something, but we won't be where we at right now. This man changed my life in this game. Gave me, and he didn't physically give me nothing. 
He just gave me advice. Hey, Fetty, I think you should do this. Hey, Fetty, I think. And I loved what he was doing. And I said, damn, I want to get there. So when he gave me the game, I pick it up. I pick it up and I ran with it. A lot of people think they just finna get a dog, go buy a dog, and jump in this game and make money. Let me tell you some of the biggest things I see that happen. People get in this game, they go, they go try to find a real cheap dog. They either get scammed or they get a dog. Dog get older, don't look like nothing like they wanted it to look like. Now they go let the dog go on the street. They get rid of the dog, you know. They try to sell a dog back to somebody else or they breed the dog, sell the puppies for cheap. Or they go buy papers from somebody and hang papers on it. That ain't cool, bro. What What's your purpose? Why you doing this? And if it's to make money, that's fine. But have a better way to lay it down to the people. If it's just for money, and that's cool. Don't let nobody tell you, oh, you just doing this for the money. That's fine. What the hell you go to work for? People got a nine to five just to go. This is my man right here. Trav! I'm in the back making a YouTube video, baby. Look, uh, I'm gonna open the gate. Hey, hey, y'all hush. And my man calling my phone right. I just seen you calling me. I'm in the middle of a video. Come on. You, you want a shout out, baby? Huh? You trying to be in the video? That's my man Trav right there. Y'all shout out to my man. We caught on passion, baby. Y'all see it? And then look, Trav back there. Don't hide, boy. But yeah, um, this video, y'all, is just a, I done lost my train of thought, y'all. Yeah, but don't let nobody tell you like, oh, you doing this just for money. That's fine. If you doing it for money, do it for money and be good at it. But here on this channel, it's much bigger than money. And that's why I give y'all this information. That's why I share this advice with y'all so y'all don't experience what I went through. Don't have to go through the suffering and the pain that I went through. You get what I'm saying? You can have a much better foundation, a much better place to start and prepare from. I'm sorry, I thought I heard it. But you can have a better place to start from. The more information that you have, the better and the faster you can get to where you're trying to go. So I stayed up late night watching YouTube videos. I was YouTubing, Googling, calling, asking questions, writing stuff down, going through certain things the hard way, and then losing it all just to figure out, hey, okay. The trap, what's up, baby? Them puppies up under there too, if you want to see them. They got their ears cut yesterday. Y'all hear the dogs, y'all? But, okay, mama, chill. She ain't gonna stop. That ain't my dog, y'all. That's my man dog. That's why she don't be listening to me. But you want to have a really good foundation somewhere to start, man. That's super important with what you got going on. So that's why I'm asking, are you really ready to be a breeder? Or are you really, really ready? What happened in the event if you got puppies and they not selling? Now you got to hold on to these puppies. You still got to feed them. You still got to take them to the vet. They got to get shots. You got to keep them healthy. All of this stuff costs money. For I use my, where my puppies at, they set up with pond shavings. And the reason I use pond shavings, so when they poop, the pond shave, the poop stick to the pond shavings. And when they pee, the pond shavings absorb the pee. Somebody told me to use those little horse pellets things. Man, that shit don't work. For me, it didn't. I didn't like the way it, it, it worked at all. So, uh, again, just because something worked for somebody else don't mean it'll work for you. Find out what worked for you. I tried it. I tried the horse pellets. It didn't work for me. So I went back to what I... Hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. You get what I'm saying? Also, y'all, I know I've been saying this. I've just been running, y'all. My ebook for deworming, I just took some puppies to the vet. I took my eight puppies, my Murrah puppies to the vet. I took Cali puppies. Y'all haven't seen those puppies yet. But one of them puppies is leaving Sunday. He didn't get his ears cut. Um, and... Hold on, y'all. We we didn't cut that puppy ears, but he leaving out Sunday. Shout out to my man Fred down in Florida. He coming to pick his puppy up. You out of here, bro? Yeah. Just hit me up, bro. Y'all boys be safe, bro. Just close up the gate. Just just leave it like that, cause I'm gonna lock it from the inside. All right. I'm sorry, y'all. We keep it real. We keep it raw, baby. We ain't editing no videos. Hey, come on. Not my, all right. Not right now. Not right now. All right. But listen, y'all. So don't be ashamed, dog. Start and go but be honest with yourself and ask yourself are you really ready to get into this game don't just say it out of emotion take the emotion out of it use logic and say okay am i really prepared to do this am i really prepared to go on this route like i said 
vet bills ain't cheap. What if your puppies get sick? Are you prepared financially to take your puppy to the vet and pay that bill? You get what I'm saying? Just to go into my vet, they haven't even seen my dogs. Just to go in is sixty dollars. Every time I go to the vet, whether it's puppies, adults, whatever, y'all, y'all see me. Anytime something going on with my dogs, they go into the vet, and these vet bills ain't cheap. When Jumbo had that issue. I can't remember how much I paid, but it was expensive. Then I had to take him back to the vet, right? I got a good relationship with my vet. So guess what? They tried to charge me the second time. And I love my vet. Shout out to my vet. I told him, I said, look, I don't have no problem with paying this second bill. I'll pay it. And I actually, I said, look, is it okay if, can we work something out? Because the doctor that I wanted to see was Dr. Davis. He wasn't in. So they made me see somebody else. Um, the lady wrongly diagnosed Jumbo. She said his spine, his leg was broke. Jumbo leg wasn't broke. I called Dr. Davis later that day, and Dr. Davis said, Fetty, when I get into the office, I'm going to take a look at him. Looked at Jumbo x-rays and said, Fetty, I don't see nothing broke. Not only that, this lady was about, I was about to drive to Columbus, Georgia, which is two hours away from me, two and a half hours away, and go pay like seven, eight thousand dollars for a surgery that Jumbo needed. Come to find out, it wasn't even broke. So I'm like, you get what I'm saying? Why would I have to pay the second time? If I would have used Dr. Davis the first time, they know every time I come in there, I want Dr. Davis. They already know that. So she was like, all right, Fetty, don't worry about it. They ended up scratching that bill. And I told them, I'm like, look, I don't want to start no problems with y'all. Y'all take care of me every time I come in here. But I explained it to them. She said, Fetty, you right. Let me talk to Dr. Davis. Boom, boom, boom. I ain't seen that bill since. So they, and I done been there after that. I don't know if they broke it down small by small and put it in my bill. I don't know, but, you know, they left it alone. But be honest with yourself, man. Just as well as you want to give yourself the best life, these dogs want the best life too, man. Appreciate that. Treat them dogs as if they was your kids, dog. You know what I mean? So I wanted to share that with y'all. It's Fetty G with SSK Kennels. And again, are you ready to be a breeder? Or are you really, really ready? If you really, really ready, hit the road running, baby. But if you just ready, maybe go back and evaluate. Look at your goals. What's your main goal for doing this? Ask yourself these questions. You ain't got to ask me. You ain't got to leave nothing down in the comments. But ask yourself these questions. Am I really ready? Am I financially prepared? Am I mentally prepared? Because it take a toll. When I lost all of those puppies, man, they hit me bad, bro. Because I really love the dogs. But unexperienced, I went and did. That was my first C-section I ever done in my life. Had to go get a C-section done, and I made a mistake and pulled my puppies a few days too early. Granted, if I knew what I knew now, those puppies would survive. I know everything I need. I know exactly what I need to be doing. Those puppies would have survived. But back then, I didn't know. It was certain things I was doing. And if y'all want me to make a video on that, that's a whole different video. But it was certain things that I was doing that I, that I, didn't, that I didn't know. You get what I'm saying? I didn't know that after you feed a puppy, tube feed or bottle feed, you're supposed to rub their back. That make them burp. You don't pat their back like a baby. No, you rub their back. That make them burp. You got to stimulate the puppy. I didn't know to go get wet cotton balls or Q-tips and rub it on the puppy private area to make them poop and pee. I didn't know that at that time. So my puppies was aspirating on the milk, drowning. And they was already not uh, big enough and uh, mature enough to come out of the, out of the mama's stomach. But I didn't know that at the time. So it's a lot of things you got to take into consideration. Do you know when to deworm your puppies? Do you know when to deworm your mama dog? If you do that, some people don't. I do. You know, do you have a system in place to where your puppies could be kept? Do you got a whelping box? You know, do you have the right stuff? A lot of people just get a swimming pool and put towels in it. That's fine. I've seen people's puppies suffocate, get wrapped up in a towel. That's why I don't use towels. I use a piece of carpet. When my dog is having the puppies, I use hay. But after the puppies are born, if she doing natural, I clean all of that stuff up and I go buy carpet that fit my box perfectly. I cut it to where it fit that box. I go buy three or four of them. And every few days, I change them. I got clamps on my gate over there. I take that carpet out, put a new one in. Why that one, I got a fresh, I already got a backup. I put the new one in, take the old one out, bring it outside, spray it down, wash it down on the, I clamp it on the gate. So it hang up on the gate, wash it down real good, leave it out there, let it dry out in the sun. And then I already got another one that's clean. So I keep three at all times. 
and when they get old, I throw them out. I don't try to refurbish them anymore. No, they going to trash. If you're making money, and again, give these dogs the best of the best that you could give them. I don't want to hold y'all for too long. We had 15 minutes. It's Fetty G with SSK Kennels again. Are you ready to be a breeder? Or are you really, really ready to be a breeder? Ask yourself that. I love y'all, y'all. Take care. It's Fetty G, baby. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Share this information with somebody. This channel growing like goddamn wildfire, y'all. I love y'all. Ah!